Hello, Send Out here coming at you with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about number one oil for hair growth and length retention. This is an oil that nobody is talking about. And by the end of this video, you will know each and every property of this oil. I'm going to tell you how you can get this oil for free. This oil is a mixture of proteins, lipids, and so many different things that make it amazing at strengthening the hair shaft and maintaining a healthy hair growth cycle while also giving the scalp and the hair shaft antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. What oil do you know kill bacteria? Let's, let's go. Number one, fatty acids. There are three fatty acids that go into this oil that make it a powerhouse for healthy hair growth and length retention. Number one, palmitic acid is the very first one that we're gonna talk about. Palmitic acid. Palmitic acid has some pretty dope properties. This is a saturated fatty acid that is found in plants and animals. This fatty acid contributes to the overall production of this oil. Number two, stearic acid. Stearic acid has its own properties as well. Is the saturated is also a saturated fatty acid known for its cleaning ability. So this is the fatty acid. This is the component within this oil that gives it one of its cleaning properties. This is a really, really big structural component of this oil. And lastly, the last component of these fatty acids is oleic acid. Acid. And oleic acid is another unsaturated fatty acid that contributes to helping your body maintain its moisture balance, right? So when we're talking about the skin needing to maintain its moisture balance or the hair needing to maintain its moisture balance, this oil is pivotal, pivotal, all right? So those are the three fatty acids. Number two. Number two is going to be triglycerides. You know how people like to say, oh, you use certain products for slip or certain oils and butters for slip? Well, guess what? This property with triglycerides are the thing within this oil that gives it its slip and its lubricating properties. These are esters that form glycerol and three fatty acid groups. In this oil, it serves as a source of energy and contributes to the this oil's lubricating properties. Number three is going to be wax esters. Listen, squalene, squalene. Although squalene is not a wax ester, it is a vital component within the formation of this oil. It's a natural hydrocarbon. It's a natural hydrocarbon that provides hydration and nourishment for the skin and hair shaft. This helps to maintain the suppleness of the hair and skin, right? So again, this is going to go into the length retention and the shine, the luster, the fullness, all that. Number four, we kind of just talked about it, but we're going to talk about it again, squalene. Squalene is a natural substance with antioxidant properties. Now, this is a big deal because it contributes to the skin and the hair shaft's defense against oxidative stress. That is so important. So when we're talking about hair shaft disorders, uh, hair shaft disorders, Disorders, scalp disorders, hair follicle disorders. This property within this oil helps to fight, helps the body and prepares the body to fight against oxidative stress and anything that the body or the hair shaft may need to fight. So many different hair shaft disorders and so many different follicle disorders, so many different forms of alopecia are prevented and stopped in their tracks when you use this oil. Number five, oh my God y'all I know y'all like what how many properties does it have we almost there number five cholesterol esters listen cholesterol yes so y'all know that one conditioner that everybody talks about or that every 
everybody's trying to go back to using cholesterol well this oil has it naturally let's keep going cholesterol is a lipid that helps to that helps to form the skin's barrier cholesterol is a lipid that forms a protective coating over the hair and the skin this barrier helps the body to maintain moisture and prevent water loss from the skin and the hair shaft this in return helps to maintain the moisture and protein balance naturally with this oil you have everything that you need to protect the hair shaft and to maintain that moisture so you know how if all of the different hacks that you have to do everything that you try with coconut oil the reason that everybody uses coconut oil is because there is a theory out that because coconut oil binds to protein because coconut oil is protein seeking then once it binds to the hair shaft it will also trap water that is in the hair shaft but where that becomes a problem is water should never be trapped within the hair shaft because the hair shaft should never hold water within itself it would just attract the moisture that it needs from the environment and when it has enough it lets it go it should never be it should never be locked into anything so that is where there's a problem but with this oil you don't have to worry about locking or tricking the hair to do anything let's keep going we're almost done number seven is going to be proteins there are a few proteins that do exist within this oil and with the protein that exists within this oil it helps the hair to maintain that moisture and protein balance that it needs naturally a lot of people get confused because you hear certain things or you read certain parts of articles and a lot of people don't really learn all of the science and piece it back together you just hear one portion of something without understanding the true makeup so now that we've talked about the, the seven different properties of this oil what in the freak is this oil that I'm talking about the oil that I have been talking about in this video this entire time is sebum and sebum is a natural oil that is growing out of your scalp and out of every pore and every follicle all over your entire body the only place that you do not have sebaceous glands are on the palms of your hands, your elbows, your knees, and the soles of your feet. Every other place on your body has a sebaceous gland. And I know a lot of people have been confused and they think that, you know, as a black woman, your hair just doesn't get sebum. And because your hair is curly, the oil cannot make its way down the hair shaft. Well, I will have you know that this oil that I've been talking about actually really isn't an oil. It is a wax. Sebum is a waxy substance that secretes its way out of the sebaceous gland. And all of these different properties and things that I just named are are what make up sebum in the first place and this is why it is so imperative to have a practice and have certain practices that allow the sebum to travel from your roots to your ends when we're talking about length retention and hair growth it has nothing to do with race ethnic background or anything the main difference between people who have long hair and they can retain length and people that cannot is the rate in which the sebum is able to coat the hair shaft and this is the thing the sebum should be able to coat the hair shaft in a timely manner and as it coats the hair shaft it should be your hair shaft should have patterns and routine patterns and routines that cause it to be able to do so so here on the screen you can see a few people who are inside of the seven day hair growth challenge and with the new routine that they have within the seven day hair growth challenge they know exactly how to get the sebum to travel from their roots to their ends without wetting the hair without adding any extra products without adding any extra oils so you guys this oil that i've been talking about in this entire video is coming directly from your scalp and from no other place you can't find it in a grocery store you cannot find it in a beauty supply store girl or on amazon this oil is secreting eggs like directly out of your scalp and the thing is as the sebum is coming out of the follicle it is wrapped around the hair shaft before the hair shaft pokes out of the skin so the second that the sebum comes out of the follicle it is coated in sebum there is nothing else that you need to do the only thing you need to do is make sure that your scalp is clean
clean and clear that there are no extra oils added to feed the bacteria that lives there because there is a natural bacteria that lives on our scalp because of all of these amazing properties of sebum. That is why somebody who has a naturally straight hair is more prone to lice because sebum is so amazing. I just got to a couple of their properties but there are a lot more of these properties that make it a powerhouse for let's say pregnant lice. Like if they're if they are pregnant they're going to leave their embryos on a hair shaft that's covered in sebum. Why? Because it has all of these amazing properties that help their babies to grow, create life and then boom shikala boom shikala blam. That baby's born on your hair because it's over and in, 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 in ingested and congested with sebum. So if you are a person who puts different um, oils and butters and stuff on your hair, as soon as you wash your hair, you create a barrier. And remember, sebum is a waxy substance and a waxy substance is not going to try to fight its way to penetrate through oils and butters that you already put on the hair shaft. So again, here on the screen, you can see that I have multiple people within the seven day challenge that before seven days even pass way before seven days even passed people are like oh my god on day three or some people just not even taking the challenge just changing certain habits and watching one of my hundreds of videos and changing their habits and patterns they are starting to notice like what is this like waxy like shiny substance on my scalp and on my roots it's called sebum and when you have practices that allow the sebum to coat the hair shaft then it's good so I just want you to remember the things that you learned in school like water and oil don't mix so if you're always wetting the hair if you always using a bunch of products on the hair that are water based most likely the sebum isn't going to be able to coat the hair shaft and because of all of these properties that sebum has sebum God didn't make any mistakes your hair is coated in sebum as it comes out of the hair shaft because sebum is the thing that you need to make your hair strong so this is why I say all the time you know, oh, I don't like twist outs and I don't like wash and goes and things of that nature. And the number one thing that everybody has to say in return is like, oh, well, what do you say to all of the women who have super duper long hair and, you know, they put oil in their scalp all the time. I have to say that long hair does not equal healthy hair because you can have hair that's 30 inches long and all 30 um, of those inches have a hair shaft disorder. There are multiple hair shaft disorders and just because your hair is long does not mean that you don't have those hair shaft disorders. I know you're probably like, okay, Sam, I know what I'm doing wrong. I know, okay, now that I know all about sebum, my freaking scalp like is dry and I don't see nothing. That's why I'm constantly putting oil on my scalp. The reason that you don't see sebum is because most likely you've been getting your scalp grease since you was a little girl. And because you've been getting your scalp grease since you was a little girl, you your follicles have been blocked for a really long time and your sebum is not used to run it so you have to do two things the first thing you have to do is um like the follicle and the next thing you have to do is is increase your sebum production from the inside so step one the first thing you are going to have to do so step one i need you to get a scalp scrub so you're going to get a scalp scrub like this i'm going to leave it in the description box below i'll leave a couple of my favorite scalp scrubs below the reason that you use a scrub and a clarifier shampoo is because it's like sweeping and then getting things up with the dustpan it's not enough to just sweep the floor right you have to put the stuff that you swept off the floor you have to pick it up and put it in the trash so when you are using a scrub the scrub is going to break up the dead skin cells it's going to break all the dead skins up dead skin cells up lift them up but they need to be washed away and that is what the clarifying shampoo is for the clarifying shampoo is going to lift the remaining of those dead skin cells up dissolve them a little bit more and push them out of the hair okay so it's really important that's what you need to do detox the hair follicle my one of my favorites is olaplex 4c so check the links in the description box below so you can get your hands on them and also if you don't want to do olaplex check my amazon store i have a link i have a list i have a list with a couple of my favorite clarifiers in there as well so 
check it out red nile chamomile now red nile chamomile is one of my favorite blends i have a really really detailed breakdown of this blend in this video here but i'm going to tell you a little bit more about it and its properties as it pertains to increasing sebum production within the human body again you can find this blend within the simple apothecary it is one of my favorite favorite blends and it's actually what's over here in this cup so let's break it down <laughs> 